The one and only Mr. C is here with some experiments you can do to your kids when they get home from school. How are you? Good. Or you can do it to adults. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's half the true. fun as well. <laughs> all right. So what are we doing today? So I brought a, just some really simple things. Um, we all have two liter bottles at home after drinking some soda and we typically have balloons. So the first thing that I want you to do is I put a balloon in each of ours. We, so we have equal containers with e different balloons, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and so I want you to take the balloon and I'm going to ask you to, first of all, is there anything inside of our balloon? No. no. Good. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead and blow the balloon up for us. So this is like, super simple. Yeah. So I put it in there. So I want you to blow the, like, like that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> no, like really try it though. Like I need you to try to blow it up. So oh, it's gone. Nope. <laughs> 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 so actually, here, just like this. Look, it's really simple. You have strong lungs. And then you can just, mm -hmm. it'll just kind of hold for you. And if I don't want to have too much air in it, I can just let a little bit out. Do, do, do. Right. right. What's the secret? So the secret is, is inside of this bottle, we said there's nothing in there, but uh -huh. technically there is air. Air. Yeah. So when we're actually trying to blow the balloon up, the balloon only goes so far because what we're doing is we're compressing the air inside of the rest of the column and it doesn't allow the balloon to blow up. So what I have is I have a little cheat right here. I took a little nail and I poked mm -hmm. a hole through. Ah. So when I blow, you can put your hand in front of it. There it is. Okay. And then I can actually cool. just hold it and the balloon stays filled up. Now when I let the air out, the air pressure out here causes the air in here to go back down. So that's okay. a little fun prank that you can okay. mess with folks at home. All right. So that's the first one. So the second one is I'm going to have you blow up a balloon. Sally, I have a purple. It was the only purple balloon I brought, so it's specifically for you. Thank you. <laughs> that's a so, lot easier. Absolutely. So I also have a little needle for you. Yeah. And what I want you to do is take that needle okay. and make a prediction. If, if you take your balloon yeah. and you poke the needle into the balloon, what's going to happen? It's going to pop. Well, let's see if that's true. Should I do it now? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, Zach, let's see if yours does it. Okay. It does. And here, needle. Boop. 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 It only works if you have the sound effect. <laughs> well, let's see without it. Oh, took everything I had not yep. to make the sound. <laughs> so you're probably wondering what's going on, right? Yeah. So when you actually put a needle into a balloon, the balloon actually rips. And that balloon isn't able to rip because I have a little piece of tape right here. So it's keeping the balloon snug to itself. So when I, I can put tons of little holes in here. I actually put the needle in and it doesn't do anything, right? You can see it on the camera right there. Oh, that's cool. Right, so mine pops just like your guys'. It's just typical balloon. So have some fun at home with these two little simple tricks. And lastly, um, a really cool thing to do also is, does anybody recognize that sound? <laughs> is that my phone? <laughs> yes, it is. How'd you get my, oh, first off, where'd you get my phone? Secondly, how'd you get it in there? So first off, I got your phone because I know somebody who got a hold of your phone oh, before the show. Oh, that's, that's why, why she said she was yes. going to call your mom, but she really so wasn't calling your mom. So, the rest of the day, you're stuck like Shh. that. Okay. How in God's name did you do this? <laughs> so this I'm is, still lightheaded from this, the first experiment, so, so I can't even comprehend this, this right now. This is a fantastic, fantastic thing. So I took a hair dryer and I just warmed up the adhesive really ever so slightly so it didn't disform my bottle. And then I took a razor, um, an X-Acto knife, and I cut a hole into it. And then basically, I'm I was on able to you. Oh, oh, this is great, right? I'm on to you too for so, taking my phone. But look, it's set up here. It's a great little gag you can do with your friends at home. And set it up, take a video. She tells me I'm on my phone too much, so I understand. Well, you were like, he, just so everyone knows, he did not want to give up his phone. Like, <laughs> She's like, what do you need a phone for? What do you need a phone for? LearningScientistsFun.com is a place to go for more fun experiment, experiments and uh, to see some more with Mr. Right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. As always. Absolutely. Happy April Fool's.